the, the joke that I've made is that 80% of the time that somebody says they're going to introduce you to somebody, they do, which I think for <laughs> many people in Austin might say like, well, of course, but outside of Austin, that's not a normal hit rate. The move isn't actually going to do that. And at the same time that there's been these things of like person A and person B anywhere else in, you know, in, in these, uh, in, in ecosystems, they're like, you, they wouldn't know each other. Like this, they wouldn't have this. I think part of it also is the fact that we still have this kind of small town structure. We're like, yeah, they know each other because they might've gone to high school together. You know, before they kind of, be, someone became big and someone didn't, they, you have these kind of interesting, you know, weak ties that still bring the, the, the city and region together. You're exactly right. You know, this is a big little city. I went to the University of Southern California. You came from San Diego. When I came here in the 90s, it was such a shock to me because California is really pretty fast paced and there's some social currency as to the group you hang around with. And unless you get an invite, you can't really hang in that circle. Um, I'm in Austin and I was at, you know, HEB. We're really excited about our grocery stores here. Um, and I was... I, I had some stuff for a tailgate and the person behind me goes, oh, you having a tailgate? Man, Shiner beer, that's an Austin classic. Oh, and you gotta have some queso. And I'm like, are you are you talking to me? I mean, I, I don't even know you. And there, he's like my buddy in five seconds. And then as I got to know this town more, like you say, and I think it was brilliant to start this podcast because of the culture here. If you make a phone call and say, hey, I got the Austin Next podcast. I want to talk to you about what you're doing. They will more than likely say yes, because that's part of the culture here. But like, again, if you're invited to um, a football tailgate, all these tailgates are wide open and you never know who's going to be there. I'll go to a tailgate. Then all of a sudden there's a guy in, you know, Birkenstock shorts and a UT t-shirt who looks like he's just hanging out for the day but he's like the CEO of a big company and he will talk to you in California. Right. That was a different thing. It was a fancy party or it was an invite only here. The culture really mixes well, because I think the CEOs here realize you never know who you're going to meet and they might help my company or maybe I can help their company. So the ecosystem is really good here for that.